today we welcome the new interns of Cafe. <laughs> oh, why is everyone? Why is everyone trying to just just accept the fact that they're absolutely poor, devastated souls turned laborers that don't get paid, they're not looked after well, they are basically slaves. For whatever reason, the Dowies are have decided to be a little bit PC about the situation and and call them laborers. But they're really not. They are they are awfully treated poor, poor slaves to the Dowies are. Incredibly unfortunate. 443 kills with Dan the Demon Smith. At least they got work no one likes unemployment. <laughs> the capacity for you guys to look on the bright side for the poor old laborers is 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 commendable, guys. <laughs> I mean to be fair, you just described interns. <laughs> Laborer, no, you're a slave. Intern, slave. Uh <laughs> work experience, slave. Apprenticeship, slave. See. 65 lost. Uh, 65 lost friendly fire. No, it doesn't doesn't count tower kills, so it was most likely that. Probably was a little bit of friendly fire, but there would have also been some tower kills in there from the start. That was phenomenal. Ah, you guys are great to siege with. I love it. Um, so yeah, we could we could raise it. Does that mean you can then just walk through the ruin the ruins of it? I kind of want the raw resources right now for more upgrades, but I'm going to occupy it just to see what it does as a settlement for us because we don't get the option to turn it into anything. It just stays as a bastion, right? Yeah, and we just get a Chaos Dwarf garrison for it for that position, which makes sense. Oh, return on your Drakenhof mission, our, our military convoy, you got a Vargulf and Crown of Skulls, which is apparently having a vibration sensation right now. The hunger. Replenish it points of combatants. That, that, that's quite nice. It's now my wall. Bastion gate. Now it's now it's Chaos Dwarfy, the Infernal Turtle Gate. Maybe I should rename it after um like the Taurus uh Bale Taurus and Lamasu. Since the first one we conquered, let's make this let's name this our, our Lamasu gate. Fumazma. Lovely. Uh, killing laughter, we do want, but I'm actually going to grab the black just because that gives him regeneration now, which is always splendid, and I'm always throwing him into battle. He is now he has got an increased weakness to fire damage though, which could become unfortunate. Um. I mean, yeah, if, if, we're, if, we're, if we're debating whether the laborers are actually slaves, um, Gordit's backstabber, who was previously a laborer, has a banner called the Banner of Slavery. Right. What do I want to give you? Um, it's a talisman slot. I don't think we've got a talisman anywhere, have we? No talismans. Need to give some of the crown of skulls. Um, what about Dan? You've got the everlasting glacier. That, I mean, that's actually not that useful for you. So crown of skulls, a little bit better. Ward save and regeneration for yourself. Have a little, have a cheeky little bit in there. Uh, in chance, item, you can have the ring of thorns, which is currently being held by. Oh, that's no, held by Tim. Don't take Tim's thorns. Ever changing blade. Must be a spelling error. <laughs> yeah, so we'll turn we'll turn one of these into Taurus Gate. 
and then a Baal Taurus gate or maybe a Kadai Kadai gate or something like that. Um, yeah, more into Flamestorm. Yes, please. It's looking good. Right. Who else got unsigned skill points? Oh, yeah, my convoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cargo capacity increases another 5% or that one, which will then give you permanent replenishment in foreign territory. Definitely take that first. Building upgrades available. Yeah, you can more... Raw materials produced, increasing workload of 100, which is actually okay. But I'm going to be doing some recruiting. But not till next turn, so you're probably okay. Um, actually, you're probably not. I probably need all of it for it. You could start. We could start. What's that one do? That does control... I should probably rebuild the Hobgoblin building here at Fortress of Eyes eventually. That one's upgrading. And how much was it? I'd need 630. Don't really have enough labor for it just yet. And we also don't have... Um, is this just gold to upgrade? No, it's raw resources as well. Interesting. Um, mm, 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 mm. Guess leave it on that one. That's the only one that kind of makes sense. Yeah, we can dispatch a convoy. You've got three more turns on that one. We are going to send you out, our converts. Although, if we wait one more turn, you've got... Oh, a pretty tasty arm with a Hydra in there. Maybe we should send you out, though, to get some more stuff. You've got the Cambrian War Sphinx, though. And you've got two Infernal Guard. And Infernal Guard with Iron Glaive. With Iron Glaives? Fire Glaives, rather. I can read. Add. Where are we sending you to? We still need more raw resources all the time, everywhere. It's on Uh We don't want to trade armaments because we're about to increase our caps for various things. Do, 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 do. It's basically the haunted forest or to the Volary. Nice short trip. Let's do it. Ah. Uh, I cannot afford. So in that case then, that kind of seals the deal on whether or not we're bothering to set this to upgrade just yet. We are not. Because getting the convoy out, definitely. A smidge more important. Bada bing, bada boom. Off you go. Have a great adventure. You can have some stuff. Uh, you can't use that though. Damn. Soon. Just not now. How's our influence? Conclave influence. How much do we need for another seat? Okay. Yeah, I might even sacrifice some uh, some laborers next time. Are goblins worse than Bretonian peasants? Uh, goblin laborers might be. Suggestion for a first faction in Mortal Empires. Which games and DLC do you have? Just three or some of the others as well? A chorf is indeed not a not a dwarf made of cheese. It is a chaos dwarf. Some people say they should be should call them chaffs. I've been calling them chaffs for so long I don't think I can switch to chaffs. Chaffs sounds very um very posh. I'm just going out for the weekend with my chaff friends. Oh yes. Where it sounds like I'm going out with the lads, you know, the chaffs. Will They're not uh Zerkovich tested it, the peasant's still worse. There you go. I won rock. Zerkovich has done the testing. The painful pain, painful testing. I mean, actually, a 16 melee attack and defense for 16. That's not terrible. I mean, they've probably got they've got some buff from something. Um, 
But yeah, Bretonian peasants, they still be peasants. They're worse, they're worse than, than the slaves of the Dowies are. So Snake Gate is open. I don't quite think these guys will succeed charging straight in there. So instead, we're going to go for a little visit to Iron Storm. And we're going to recruit some more units. Um... What we're gonna get rid of. We'll get rid of the goblin laborers actually straight away. We can get a blunderbuss in there. We want to get more of them, and we can get more of these guys. So I'm gonna go for blunderbuss, blunderbuss, warriors. I need a few more armaments to get more because I definitely want more than one one more warrior in here. We've already got one, so if I go for that and we unlock another, we'll have three total. Then Blunderbuss. We've got the archers. I'll still keep them in there for now because they're cheap, cheerful, and they do decent damage. Uh, yeah, another one. Lovely. So three Blunderbusses. With that in in incorporated there, so we just got one more dwarf to pop in. That should be all right. It's decent. Doomskull key. Don't spend the resources, Lionheart. We're saving them. We're saving them for... Actually, no, we don't need them for that. We'll be saving labor for that. So we can actually start upgrading some bits. Although we wanted to upgrade that one as well. The constant struggles. Should probably upgrade these so we can get more of that in. We just need to keep on conquering though for laborers. Uh, I don't think I can afford to set an example right now. Not unless we've got another battle that we can fight right now. They've just taken wage in. Okay, not mm, thing is Dragon Gate. With they've got two two armies there. We'd need two of mine to two of mine to hit it. Unless we decide... I, I don't want to go after the northern provinces right now unless I have to. Their attitude is rapidly deteriorating, but we need to try and knock out the, the Imperial Warden so we don't have a multi-front war. Conquering for laborers. How very Roman of you. <laughs> Sacrifices to Math Mistress of Skulls. No. If it was good enough for the Romans, it's good enough for the Dowizar. What a Romans. Bringer of glory. Natural authority. Fahashut Marink Strolden Apugrutas. Go that. See if we can draw him out. No, don't do that. We need gold for all those bits. Okay, in which case, don't worry about that. That's all gold. Plus 8%. Oh, we've got a modifier on it. Nice. <clears throat> oh, because of the hero in there. That's why. Boost income. Gloin the burnt. No, I don't want to just constantly wait for this to be the only thing we upgrade all the time, but it allow me to get some pretty cool stuff. I'm just going to take that one, yeah. Research rate. I mean, maybe the AI goes for it. If we had a seat in there, we would benefit from it. Or I can oust them. So close, we are two turns away. Where you gonna go? You've got all the games, all the DLC. Yeah, if you've not done an Ikit Claw campaign on Immortal Empires, Skaven Nukes, can't go wrong. Great fun. Um, Torx Brass Bull as well would recommend. Sisters of Twilight, they're good fun. I 
mean, they're, they're all good fun to a degree. <laughs> Bloody hands, wall fails. Cool. I mean, oh no. You've stayed there. Ooh. Crane gunners. Okay. That's going to be proper nasty. Can they go up? They can't go on walls, though, can they? I bow only before. Did I dream it that CA made it that you could put weapon teams on walls as a change? I know there's a mod that did that. Gormless. Raise or sack. So I've actually got to sack the snake gate. Can't occupy it. We want that gold though. Doomless. Yeah, I think I may have had like a fever dream that they could. Okay. Right, what I'm going to do with this tan is throw him over here, go sack the get snake gate. Do with you. I mean, ultimately, we want to move you into an army full of hobgoblins to really power them all up. Cheap, cheerful, and nasty. Some more melee defense in that. Four fifty. Yeah, we don't. We don't have. We're going to drop in efficiency next turn, but we should gain some more fighting the next few after that. We could upgrade you. Don't want to yet. Yeah, throw that in there. Found your bones, some gold. Power of Zar, somebody else gone in? No. What's six mean? It was saying, is that six seats? No, oh, number of available seats. There we go. Technology, so we just finished that one. So more relations with Chaos Wars, good. Um, ca casualties captured post battle, which that would mean more laborers, right? I guess, or more... Actually, casualties, don't they feed into... I think they kind of split. Casualties kind of feed into giving you more laborers to choose from at the post-battle screen. And also, oh, more casualties captured if you choose the gold, the ransom one, that gives you more gold output from that. It's a good one to have. I don't want to spend 25 Conclave Influence right this second. Because we are a turn away from getting a Tier 2 seat. Um, we will. We could do the economy. Outpost settlements. That'll unlock that one. City marble. Provide plus fifteen percent raw materials output for the province. That's quite good. Hello, cat. Extended shifts, raw material output plus ten percent. That that's quite good. Maybe I'll push you. Yeah, let's do that. Ten percent more captured after battle means ten percent more on pay. I'm not sure if it does actually mean it because I think it would say more more laborers gained post battle because there are some skills that say specifically laborers gained post battle plus five percent plus ten percent. Captives, I'm pretty sure, feeds in more directly to the amount you'd get for ransoming them in the post battle options. But also, it seems that the more captives you get, the more you can convert that into labor as well. You've kind of got those two options with the... Um...
with the Chaos Dwarves. Um, I don't really want you coming this way. Kolek. Um, you're also not giving me that much gold right now. Uh, I'm going to say no, mainly because, yeah, go, go do, go after the Ursa Revive. Go after Boris, damn it. I've got, I've got dibs on killing these guys. Done any sorcery. Yeah, yeah, we've done. So the boon in diplomatic relations with the Chaos Dwarves is sorcery line. Convoy encounter, dueling shrine, Stromni Vargal convoy. The day may have just begun, but one of the scouts has already spotted a wide, flat stone platform in an isolated area. A series of eight steps leads to an eight-sided arena with grooves carved into the floor to drain the blood spilled. Unmistakably, this is a Cornite combat shrine. The perfect location to tutor troops and beat the weakness out of them. Uh, combat drills, strength through pain, unit experience plus 2,000. At the cost of moving this turn or no yeah yeah combat drills undercuts the gold tooth confederation live to work work to live so yeah sorcery research that we've done is all this so far um let's start going through that 17 now available because we've now got enough influence uh, and i'm gonna go for concave influence gain plus one per turn for factory settlement buildings and build more factories as we expand. Currently getting 14. Claim that seat. And now we're in here, so we'll get plus one uh, maximum number of convoys when this gets completed. Beautiful. And then all the way up to the ultimate goal. I'm assuming the. Oh, you've taken. You actually regained a little bit of territory? Knights nice. Kaldor and Clan Rictus, you're at war with. You've gained two now. Cyprus of a shut. Still, up. you're at war with the Gorlamandi now. That's going to distract you a little bit, but they're also at war with Kislev, so. Grimgor still struggling around a little bit. You guys are real strong. Strong Sentinels. Speak. Ah, oh, Bodwell, because you want non-aggression. Let's talk terms. Do you want to give me some gold? Yep. I'll see it through. Thanks, Wolfric. Ah, uh, come on. So that gold you just gave me. Hmm. You know, what, I'm just gonna wait a turn or two until you're a little bit more friendly and get it for free. By the cruel seas. I'll be killing you. No escape. What? Fear me. Child of the night. I will not fear you. Um, Brandon the Bronze. A Ragnarok Spider and an Orc Shaman. Nice. Who can we send out now? We can send out the Sharpshooter. What's your army right now? Oh, you got the Hydra. Yeah, lovely. Where are we going? Still more raw resources. Things we spent a thousand recently. Uh, it's going to be the same ones, isn't it? Because the resources don't have changed yet. Although we also want more laborers, actually. So our Greece will only be three turns, but we don't have enough. Um, Armaments. That'd be kind of good. Uh, I'll do this actually after we've smashed into the snake gate because we'll get gold for doing that. I need to think about when we're sending the ta Oh no, we will not be taking the gate. Oh no. Ooh, I can try and pull them all out. Mm. Can't make it back there in time, can I? You can press on it. You might be able to do, do it, taking the dragon gate. Uh, I really should start thinking about maybe lightning strike. If I attack you, I mean, we can absolutely shred them as the reinforcements come in. Can we take on three armies, though? Is that a bit too much? Especially with all those crane gunners. Mm. 
Let's do Tim first. Take the Dragon Gate. It's pretty victory. High casualties. I think we'll be okay if we fight it though. There's two breaches straight away. Here we go. Of the power of the chorfs. <laughs> the Dowie Czar. Yeah, Dev, I think maybe we should just all agree to call them the Dowie Czar. Sounds far more intimidating and scary than chorfs. <laughs> or as some of you want to call them chaffs. I'll let I'll I'll be interested to see what the YouTube comment section makes of it. Fight it out amongst yourselves. Oh, I should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not the rabbit catcher. This is the the chonky catcher of of sunny rays and nets. Blessing from the cat. We shall win now, in indeed. Start deployment. Where beam breaches. Same place. Oh no, either side of the center gate. I mean, we still want to deploy pretty much, yeah, with those breaches to utilize them. Send you guys charging into the gatehouse. Have you guys catch the tower damage? What do you want me to say, Bone State? Your favorite sound? taken out. I'll pop them both in the middle just because we want them both to be able to take out a tower. Oh yeah, whoops. I deployed you guys over there. I forgot about you. Watch out for the towers! Oh yeah, that looks cool. You're definitely a sniper, aren't you? Oof. Go, Cav, go. Bring down the towers. gates. Yeah, they like deploying back. Maybe it's just Bastion AI. They always prefer fight fire sitting further back. I mean, it's uh, an impressive point. It's actually worth grabbing the uh, tower. Now that one stopped firing, as is that one. They don't sit on them long enough either. I guess with breaches. Maybe it's the breaches that's why they sit further back. I hear Cathay and screaming. Is 
a lot of screaming going on. You just call me a goose? How ruddy dare you. Shield of Thorns. Oh, nice. Someone left the screen button on on the uh, Cathayan infantry. Goblin Wolf Riders. Magma cannon. <laughs> oh, it's a killing pit. The blunderbuss is up, firing on down. Yeah, it's great. Riders out. Where do you guys get to? You went over here. Nice. Yeah, just keep harassing them over that side. Why not? Yeah! 
Move in on these guys. Go, go, go. Charge back in again. everything yeah got him it's got melted yeah, unfortunately you guys can't fire that well into the city it's the levels Oh, no, that one's got it. Alas, it missed. That'll do. Job done. Yeah, the follies are so satisfying from the missile troops. Very, very nice. Yeah, did all right. Smashed them. Did they evacuate the population before the battle, or do they just let casualties roll in? You'd like to think they would evacuate them through the gate in the bastion beforehand. You'd like to think. Um, Occupado. Noise. Uh, our rank 10, you'll get your Great Taurus. So yeah, we'll call this one the, the Great Taurus Gate. And the other one can be the, uh... Well, either, either it would be a, another... I don't think a, another, like a Bale Taurus Gate would work as well. Um, so probably like a Kadai Gate. That's the uh, snake gate. Uh, oh, yes. We finally got more advanced spells. Flames of Asgoth. Yes, please. Uh, either we save it up or we drop it in the gate. I'm going to drop it in the gate for now. Well, no, I didn't upgrade that one. Okay, no, I will I thought I'd upgraded that one. get if it's just three it's just the assembly line stuff's worth going for there's no recruitment or anything out like that um there'll be more gold we are running a smidge low yeah okay. chuck that in pull that in for at least construction cost reduction Gloin the burnts um we want to increase mobility and survival s for you and then let's rename this. The great. Oh. Tor Taurus Gate. Boom. The Great Taurus Gate. And the Infernal Lamasu Gate. Awanrag. My will does not bend. Interference will cost you dearly. Send out the new convoy before I forget. Mm. 
more laborers so I can rush more construction through. And then I want to see what this looks like. Close to feet. Oh, if I actually... Oh, I thought I attacked the army outside. I haven't. I actually wanted to attack you and then draw them all in. This way I'm actually attacking the crane gunners first and these guys. Oh, wait, no, I'm not because... Oh, intercepted. Ah. They're attacking me. What, they'll sally out? Or I get to hit the settlement? I'm attacking the Imperial... I don't want to attack the Imperial Wardens. They're tired. Because as I approached, they... I want to try and draw them out from it. So, I'm going to retreat from that. Ah, damn. Moves me too far back. I can't move in and attack. I want to just hit you. Does it always intercept then if you move into their range? Yeah, because if I'm going to attack the gate itself, I definitely want to do it as a direct attack to immediately cause breaches. I think so, yeah. So, basically, we need to try and lure that army away. Let's see if we can sit in ambush. 80% chance here. Let's go forward a smidge. See what happens. Percentage chance that the Bastion intercepts. Yeah, I can't. I honestly can't actually remember if it is uh, every time or it's just a percent chance that it triggers. Would kind of make sense. Well, either either of those for what it is, the Great Bastion. We ambushed them. Yeah. Let's obliterate them. I want to fight this. Winner, winner, ambush dinner. <laughs> so, uh, smash them and send more lanterns up to mark their demise. Right. What a glorious slaughter through the rice fields it will be. Time for more interns. Bridge over there. Um, it's not clear line of sight. It's probably just better to have these guys up here. Where have they got a retreat point? They do. Which probably make most sense to have the artillery there firing down the line as they try and make it here. Or fire from behind. Because that way we can fire the whole length of the line, basically. Got to make sure we defend them. What to defend? The oh, you know what? I'll put the orcs on defense duty here. I'm not going to worry about hitting them from the other side because they're just going to get massacred from us charging down the hill here. I actually don't get the best line of sight here. You know what? I might have to adjust them a little bit. Such 
Barak Aska. Satan Datraj. Rotsa. Khutash Hobgabla. Oh, I have to smash straight away. At least the crane gunners didn't, um... Get a chance to fire at all. Where are you guys going that way? What are you going over here? First hand's got a good defeat rate. 40% item drop chance and 50% range for artillery. Oh, really? Damn, that's great. What are the... Do we know what the other ones are? I think it was Battlesy I saw do a video because he just jumped in with Grimgore to like bop them all. To find out what their defeat traits were. That's insane though. More range for artillery. Happy days. Kind of like really. Can I can Zatan defeat himself to get the trait? That'd be great. <laughs> if only, eh? Burn the heretic. Oh, wait, that's us today. <laughs> the Iron Demon did great. Nice, nice, nice. Didn't, get, didn't have the right elevation for the blunderbusses to really shatter them, but results speak for themselves. Was a little bit of friendly fire. We don't talk about the, li the little bit of friendly fire. It's okay. Yeah, give me those laborers, please. Amazing. We can now march on Snake Gate. And complete our conquest of the three gates. Red Renown unlocked. Oh, look at that. The Immortals. Infernal Iron Sworn. Uh, yeah, so I love you. Walk late. I really don't. You're cool. But you're not this cool. Oh, I don't have enough man. Oh, I've seven gold. Also, their upkeep cost would nearly bankrupt me. Eh. I know what I was saving for this. Oh, wait, no, I already... Did I, did I already do the... Oh, no, I didn't. There we go. Military access. Who was I getting close to getting a trade agreement with, though? It was somebody else, wasn't it? That I was going to get trade with? Oh, uh, Wolfric. Speak. Yeah, why you why don't want trade no more? I right, this is it's going to be a big ask. But yeah, thirty-four gold. That, that's what I need right now. 
Here, look. Thanks. Take what's theirs. The sensible option would be to not recruit them. But that's no fun. Let's see him in action. Armor 140. Undying will. What's that mean? As long as this unit retains most of its overall hit points, entities within this unit will not die. Damn. Although, how, how do they... How do, I guess, weak, weak damage? I don't know. That's pretty cool. Enable if hit points are greater than 75%. Cool. So until they take until they've lost 25% of their health. Noise. Pop them in. Which means we can now complete our top line. Laughing killer. Oh, he's a mad lad. I think then, yeah, now either we go through a bit of blue and get lightning strike, which is always useful. Um, or we do some red line stuff. Probably won't do the fervent fodder because we've got Gordit's doing that. Um, but Black Shard Bulwark, that's quite nice. Pick victory, high casualties, still two breaches. Let's complete the trifecta of gate conquest today. Here we go. Beautiful. Going to be so much fun. So if the first 25% of the hell they can't... Yes, indeed. Makes them pretty strong. Battle of the Bastions. And then, next stream and next episode, we'll begin our invasion of the northern provinces of Cathay. Oh, yes. It's going to be glorious. Okay, breach in the middle again. Send the train straight in. I think I'm just going to ignore the tower and just move the artillery and everyone else forward a bit. Because it just doesn't seem worth it. Unless they decide to deploy all their troops along along here. But they haven't done so far. So I don't think they will. We'll do Gordet going through that gate. And let's get rid of that Orc Labourer. Either replace them with another Hobgoblin that's got Vanguard or another Dwarf Warrior unit. Oh, look at him. That's glorious. Amazing. Doing. Yeah, no one's there either. They were just deploying. They were deploying back here every time. Rather than out on the wall. Hey, AI, you might want to uh, use the Great Bastion. I think it's perhaps because of the breaches. Oh, 
Over here. Rush on in. Leave all them for now. Let's just break the uh, vanguard. Defeat trait is missile resistance, 15% and income from settlement buildings, 10% faction wide. Wow. That's huge. And what about um, Astrogoths? Room. Was that the magma cannon firing again? It's moving. It's one of Cathay's towers. Flame storm. These guys ready. Artillery. I was like, why are they getting absolutely munched over there? The artillery is in position. Got wrecked. Oh, 
Come on. We did yet? This one they've actually fought with more layers behind them. So you guys are not faring well. Whoopsie. Send them up. Magma cannon, yeah, fire on that one. Looks good. Send the Choo Choo Pain Express. Some shots in. Yeah, wrecked. Oh, yes. Triple gate threat complete. 699 kills with Dan the Demon Smith. He's doing better every single battle. Absolute machine. Loved it. Also, I just realized the reason why my shoulders are kind of disappearing to the green screen is don't wear yellow on a green screen, Lionheart. <laughs> Sorry for my fuzzy shoulders today. <clears throat> Ashkos defeat trait is spell resistant, 15% effect duration, 10% on law of magic, has shut death, of fire, and metal spells. Okay. Absolutely smashing. You got 740 kills in the end there. The oh, blunderbuss has got loads more at the end. We've got to sack this one or raise it. For our mission. I'm actually going to raise it because we get the raw materials. Although we've already got a decent amount. If I, if I did that, we'd be able to upgrade our capital. If I sack it, then I get more labors that I could then use to fast track rush buildings and they'd have to come back and take it or that one and occupy it isn't it tier 3 so it'll go down to tier 1 anyway no it'll go down to tier 2 if I just occupy it if I sack it and then occupy it it would go down to tier 1 regard oh yeah actually so it's the same result anyway start from scratch yeah let's raise it Burn the gate. Mission successful. Lovely. We are slightly negative on the old income. Um, get rid of that orc labor and we'll be fine. These guys are very expensive. So yeah, we need to start. Like If we upgraded some of these, um, we could then get more of these money pits um, which generates some more income for us. Also increase that. Um, got the Bloodwing Keep over here. How are we looking on labor? Okay. You're about to be done next turn. Um, next turn I should be able to upgrade that. Yep. Actually increase this a bit more. Bloodwind Keep. We're upgrading you so we can get more 
in here so we could rush that one through you guys cost gold not raw materials you guys need raw materials not gold um but that's we're gonna go anyway so what we need is gold we could upgrade these so that they generate more gold cost of raw materials but it um, generates us more gold income the next province we take is definitely going to be my privilege. an outpost one although i would say these two slotter ones probably work better overall being factories rather than outposts because a factory can still produce fairly well just on one single region an outpost yeah they do okay but you really want to be channeling labor to m more than just two regions i would have thought What's up with the lower public order? Um, public order because we've got la uh, slaves, laborers, interns, backpackers. Um, yeah. Causes a little bit of... Um, a little bit of trouble. I will. Wei Jin. So they're all three along here. I'd probably go as far to say... Maybe take lands of stone and steel and, Wei and Imperial Road, both as outposts. And then Nangao whack in some more factories. Because we still haven't even upgraded most of these factories to produce more armaments for us. So I think that's what we'll do. Um, we've wiped out that faction. Yeah, so we're not at war with anyone. But I would imagine it's only going to be a short matter of time before Miao Ying comes after us. So we want to strike swiftly um, I mean, we're going to want to take Snake Gate. It's going to cost me 1,280. And one, one occup, and one labor. I, I can, I can afford that. It's just one, one poor labor, like rebuilding everything. Ah, it's got to put that in there. Hmm. Hero Wardens are dead. We're in Snake Gate. I'm going to leave it in ruins right now because if we spend the raw resources right now, we won't have enough to start upgrading the Volary next turn. So 10. Finish off Scarred Veteran now. And uh, we've still got Wound Maker to go through. So finish powering you up. And then I guess it's a choice between red or blue. I think I'm going to go blue. I think I'm going to go blue. Dan, you've been doing great. Um, you now have... Yeah, you're on your Lamassu. The Bale Taurus is 19. So next level. You become way more powerful. Uh, and then immortality at 20 automatically, which is great. I am going to go for more burning head. Gordus backstabber. Elusive. Yeah, Tim can actually push out and start doing stuff, I guess. Although we could do with replenishing his army. We might just go... We could go raid. Kind of finish up replenishment. Might not be a terrible idea. And then we push with both forces next turn. But we'll decide all that and more next time. If you're watching this on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed another recording from the stream. Until the next one, take care and ciao for now.